What's up, William Baron here with Darkfakes.net, and as you can see, we are inside of 3D Studio Max 2013. What we're going to be doing here is that I've been using 3D Studio Max off and on for several years. I believe the first time I actually used it was around 2008, I think. But I never really learned how to use it. I followed some tutorials and so forth and went along with what they were doing, but I never actually learned how to use the program. And so what I want to do here is that whatever I learn, I'm going to create little short videos so that people can jump in, they can uh, find out how to do something, and then continue on their way. And so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to create an object and then we're going to uh, manipulate that object just a little bit. So let's come over here and uh, let's go ahead and want everything to be new. Let's go ahead and choose a box. And you left click to uh, draw the shape. You let off from the button and you pull up and this right here will raise your box up higher. You right click oops uh -huh. well let's try that again you pull up and then you left click and then that will create your box for you you come out and then you right click and then that will deselect it okay now let's run through some shortcut keys okay if you hit q this will automatically do the select object if you hit w this right here will allow you to move the object if you hit e this will allow you to rotate the object or move it around inside of any vertices that you need it to move in. And then if you hit R, this right here will allow you to scale it up and down. And then H will allow you to choose. If you have multiple objects within your, um, your stage, then you can choose whichever object that you want to work with. Okay, so let's go back to Q. Okay, now, uh, with our box, we want to have, um, let's come over here, our length segments, width segments, and height segments. Right now, we've, we've only got one segment, and that is just what you see here. But what if we wanted two, two, I mean, two, 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 if we wanted to have two segments on each line, but we can't see them. Okay, how you find this is that you come over here to Shaded. You right click on Shaded and you choose Edged Faces. And this right here will show you the edged faces. You can also go down and choose Wireframe if you want to have Wireframe. I prefer uh, to have Shaded Edge Faces. You can also come down here to Stylize and you can also change the way everything looks. So you can do Graphite. And this right here will make it look like it's been done with a graphite marker. And then come over here, you can choose color pencil. And you got to give it a second. Okay, and that right there would give it a colored pencil look, but you still got that graphite feel. It's like you took your pencil while you was in school and just colored all over the paper. You right click, you choose stylize and ink. And this right here will give you an ink colored. And then down to color ink. That one's pretty cool. And then stylized down to acrylic. And then stylized down to pastel. Uh, it hasn't changed yet. There she goes. And then stylized down to tech. And so I prefer to have it set like this right here for starting out. So this is my first lesson, and I uh, hope that y'all learned something from it. So, all right, Wayne Barron here with darkfakes.net. Y'all have a rocking week, bye-bye, or weekend, I should say. Bye-bye.